After beating Oma Academy last Saturday, Bangor Grammar, coached by Mr. Morgan and Mr. Cardinal, and led by Zach Kerr, are ready to go again. The opponents today are Rainy Endowed School of Macarafelt, who themselves defeated Portadown College last time out. The crowd is building and we're ready to go. This is round four of the Danske Bank Ulster Schools Cup from Grantia Road, Bangor, where Bangor Grammar School is Rainy Endowed School for a place in the quarter final. Let's take a look at today's match squad. Reese Brown returns to the front row alongside Ulster Under-18 schools Ben McCrossan and Johnny Gamble. Making up the second row are Year 12's Robbie Winters and Riley Westwood. Lining up as flankers are Jack Gibson and Adam Pritchard with Gareth Wells driving scrums from the back. At 9 is kicker and top point scorer for the season, Reese Larmer. Ireland and Ulster under 18, Aaron Sexton starts it out half. In the centre are Connor Lusty and BGS first 15 captain and top try scorer, Zach Kerr. Zach also an under 19 Ulster schools representative. Running the left wing today is Matthew Quinn, at the opposite side is Cameron Stewart. And at the very back of the team, Daniel Young will be hoping for some space to run into. And today's substitutes, Dylan Moore, Ben Cavan, Callum Bain, Ruben McEwen, Munro Kerr, Matthew Bell, Will Simpson, and Angus Christie. Coming up shortly are match highlights, but first, let's see both teams take to the pitch.
After a slow first half, it was a sensational second 40 minutes for Bangor Grammar as they earned their place in the next round of the school's cup. Harry Evans opened the scoring for Rene and Dowd and Bangor hit back through tries from Daniel Young and Connor Lusty with Reese Larmer adding one conversion. Let's hear from some of today's happy Grammarians. We knew it was going to be tough coming in late on the back of, uh, of two uh, tough matchings over last week, so we did, so we knew, uh, did our preparations during the week and we came out here and got the result today. Uh, I can't even spot to speak to be honest with you. Uh, it's, it's incredible and hopefully we can just move on and progress on and hopefully get the final minute. So close to getting a try near at the end. Uh, yeah, I thought I was in but uh, yeah, it was good cover defence so I guess well, that's... Was that's, it a knock on in the end? Yeah, or? knock on. The, the rate got the rally get back and stripped it from me so yeah, I think uh, I just saw the prize there and thought it was too early so didn't quite finish it properly, you know, but sure. Uh, you can't score in every game, Yeah, that's true. Talk us through the try. Uh, yeah, it's just a move of half the training ground and so just had a lot when you knew it was going to go in, so hard work from the boys, didn't have to do very much. And uh, you've scored a couple of tries now in the Skills Cup. Uh, is it a lot more important scoring in the Skills Cup? Uh, is it worth a lot more, do you think? Yeah, there has been a picture last year as well, so when you're playing for everyone around you, you're a real tight group of lads at the minute, so, there is, so we're sure playing for everyone in the team. You didn't get on today, but uh, again, a critical member of the team. Uh, what's it feel like to be part of the team? Yeah, it's great this year. Big, uh, big step up from a down, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's been great. I think the lads have accepted me, you know, and it's uh, great to be part of the team. Not, not getting on today, but uh, played plenty throughout the season anyway. Yeah, absolutely, and you played so well. And uh, an unused sub today, do you think you might get on the team next time? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully I'll get some game time next time, you know, just soaking up the atmosphere at the moment. Uh, what does it feel like to be part of a winning uh, Skills Cup uh, match winning team? Uh, it, it's pretty, pretty good, you know, it's a, it's a good team, all tight, yeah. Did uh, Rennie put up maybe a better fight, do you think, today than Omar did last week? Or I, mean, I think um, Omar were probably uh, a better side than Rennie. We probably should have put Rennie away faster than we did. Mm. Yes, we should have. Yeah. Again, a bit of a win today. It seemed you had that in the second half and uh, a better performance in the second half. Was that part of the, the reason? Yeah, look, we just gave the ball to Aaron and let him use that left foot and pin it down the corner and they weren't getting out of it. Are we off next Saturday? I know, uh, <laughs> thankfully we've been on the go for a while now. Yeah. Do you think you can take on the big sides now, like against Matthew Campbell? Yeah, yeah, well I doubt, like our, our preparation will be key, you know, the past three weeks, four weeks, the skills cult there has been, it's been brilliant, like it's been the best I've been in, so there's no reason why we can't uh, perform with those teams. All the big seeds have won in the skills cup today, so uh, the next match is going to be really tough. Yeah, look, we, we can just back ourselves, we, we know how to play and hopefully, hopefully we can just play the way we want to and then make them make them try and play us and hopefully we'll win. Well, uh, if you play like you did again today in the next match, you know, any team's going to struggle to get past. So, good luck in the next Cheers. one and well done today. Cheers, thanks.
Elsewhere in the Schools Cup today, there were wins for six of the top eight seeds. Bangor Grammar and Sullivan Upper are the only two teams left from round three to make the quarter-final. Campbell College got a surprise 41-0 win against Arietta and Royal School Armagh were the day's biggest winners, beating Cambridge House 45-0. Holders RBAI knocked out Ballyclare High School at Osborne Park by a scoreline of 17 points to nil and last year's beaten finalist Methody won away at Coleraine Grammar School. And now a look at the draw for the quarter-final. Campbell will play Ballymena at Fox's Field, RBAI face Sullivan Upper School and Wallace have been drawn against Armagh. For Bangor Grammar School it will be a tough away match at Methody as the lowest ranked team left in the competition will certainly be up against it but our defence has been excellent for the Schools Cup so far. A semi-final tie at the Kingspan Stadium awaits the four winning teams with quarter-final matches to be played in two weeks' time. Join us next time where pressure, tension and nerves will be cranked up yet another level. Feel it all around There's madness in these grounds no disguise in destruction waits on the horizon Time is running now Time can't stop me now The world may live or die But I will rise I'm on the warpath